Talking Jones World, this is meteorologist Tim Root with your KLEK 102.5 forecast. It'll be partly to mostly sunny, but clouds will increase today, the high around 52. A chance of rain late tonight, mostly cloudy, in the low to mid 40s. Rain showers, mostly cloudy, breezy Thursday, and the high about 55 to 60. Friday, partly to mostly sunny around 50, and more rain expected over the weekend. Your life, your music, we're KLEK 102.5 FM. From Feature Story News in Brussels, I'm Jack Parrock. British Prime Minister Theresa May is preparing for a vote of no confidence called against her government after her Brexit deal with the EU took a hammering in the House of Commons. Kenyan President Uhuru Kenyatta says security forces have killed the four al-Shabaab terrorists responsible for the attack on a high-end hotel in the capital Nairobi. Protests have broken out at an Indian shrine after two female worshippers tried to enter an 800-year-old temple. It's 9.01. KLEK LP Jonesboro, the voice of Arkansas Minority Advocacy Council. It's now time for Community Conversations, a program focusing on the people working to make the Jonesboro community a better place while offering viewpoints from all sides of the issues. Views expressed in this program are those of the participants and do not necessarily reflect the views of KLEK 102.5 FM, the voice of Arkansas Minority Advocacy Council, or our underwriters or sponsors. Good morning, everyone, and happy Wednesday to you. I hope that you're having a great start to your day. You tuned in to Community Conversations on KLEK 102.5 FM. And I want to say welcome to our very special guest today, members of the Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated from right here in Jonesboro. Right here in Jonesboro, they're from two different chapters. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. All right, so we have Miss Precious Crawford and we have Miss Shakira Crawford. And they are from the Sigma Gamma Zeta, which is the graduate chapter of Zeta Phi Beta and the Iota Nu uh, chapter, which is the undergraduate. So I'm very happy to have you all ladies here to highlight your sorority and happy Founders Day to you. Thank you. All right. So we're going to get right into our discussion. So tell us a little bit more about Zeta Phi Beta. When and where was it founded? All right. Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated was founded on February 16th, January 16th, 1920 by five women. Arizona Cleaver Pearl Anna Neal. Myrtle Tyler Fable, Viola Tyler Gomez, and Fanny Petty Watts. All right, and so can you imagine during that time during the 1920s, um, women were just kind of getting some of their rights, right. their voting rights, and there was still a lot of different discrimination things going on around the country. So can you imagine what it was like? I know there were already some other sororities and fraternities, but still, they still want to step out and do something more. Exactly. So exactly. I'm sure there's a lot of issues they face, a lot of uns- insecure, uh, unsureties, I should say. All right. uh, so shout out to those brave women for stepping out and wanting to serve their community. Absolutely. All right, so let's talk about the principles. So every you know organization is founded on something. So let's yeah. talk about the principles that um, those brave young ladies founded the sorority on. Okay. Well, that was five brave young ladies founded a sorority on scholarship, service, sisterly love, and final womanhood. All right. So, can let's go through each one and kind of, you know, break it down a little bit more. So, scholarship. I mean, we hear scholarship, we think education, doing, you know, going to school, doing well. Right. Um, applying yourself mm-hmm. academically. So, what, for you all, what does that mean? Well, for scholarship, well, for me, scholarship, well, I know Zeta was founded um, with high scholastic um, principles. Okay. So scholarship is our first principle, okay. which is first things first. You're at school to get your degree. Yes, ma'am. So scholarship <laughs> first and keep your GPA up. All right. Mm-hmm. And so what is the required GPA to become a Zeta? It's 2.5. Okay. And that's very achievable yes, if anyone just applies is. themselves. Right. Um, I fell short several times when I was in school, but you know, came back do. around a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I want to say good morning to Mr. Adrian Everett from Arkansas State University. Hey, Adrian. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, and what's your next principle? Our next principle is service. Okay. So, definitely uh, our founders wanted to be people in our community that um, were faced that wanted to provide some type of just service to the community so that's kind of like our main foundation kind of like our main focus is you know providing the people of the community service so very 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 important and I'm sure during that time and along over the years um, there has been a lot of service 
rendered to many in the communities in which these different ladies lived. Um, right. And not just the founders, but everyone that has been a part of Zeta Phi Beta. Mm-hmm. I'm sure they've uh, run across someone who was in need of something. Okay. Um, and I'm happy that the ones that I know, they're wonderful women <laughs> and happy that they have you know, giving of themselves freely to help right. everyone they can. And thank you ladies for your service. I'm sure that you do wonderful things on campus and within the community as well. Thank you. All right, so let's go to the next one. The next principle. Oh, our next principle <coughs> is sisterly love. Okay. And that's just the bond that you have between your sorority sisters. It's, to me, it's a different type of bond that you build with people that you don't no, okay. but then you get to know and then you build this bond with them in this sisterhood. Okay. And I think that's a very important principle to have. And it's a principle that you'll carry with you throughout your whole entire life. Because those people will be the people that you have in your life for the rest of your life. Okay. Now, do you all have any siblings personally? Um, <laughs> this is actually my sister right okay. here. <laughs> oh, so, yeah. yeah. I was going to ask because you all have the same last name. Yeah. So, yeah, we sisters. Okay, yeah. so... Well, then, you already know what it's like to be sisters and siblings. Yeah. Right. Now you're in this bigger sisterhood. <laughs> so right. Tell us what it was, what that's like, knowing that if you have a need or you just need to talk, somebody lean on, you have someone you can call a text or whatever and say, I really need you right now. <laughs> <laughs> Man, well, I can speak on that. I have, uh, through this great sorority, I've gained so many sisters and just... I just call them friends now. It's just, I have two main people in my life that they really are there for me. I can call them anytime, any time of the day, and they're there to listen. It may be one o'clock in the morning, LaDonna, <laughs> but I definitely uh, reaching out to her if I'm in a panic about anything, and she just provides me the ability to calm down, and also Antoinette, she's there for me anytime I need her. And I can just call those women and, and, and just vent or, or just, you know, talk about what's going on in my life, and oh. that's the bond that we have and that we share due right. to this sorority. All righty. Mm-hmm. You want to add anything to the sisterly love? To sisterly love. Um, well, yes, it is. Well, it's very interesting having a sister who's your actual sister, <laughs> and then it's your sorority sister, too, because I... Um, I'll notice, like, sometimes we'll I always, like, text her and ask, you know, if I have questions about Zeta. And then we'll probably be having a question about Zeta, and then we'll be talking about our mom the next <laughs> minute. It's, just, it's really it's really interesting relationship. That's awesome that you all can share in this, and you can help keep each other in check when it comes to, you know, information, studying, and even line dance, I don't know, concert strolls, or <laughs> yeah, yeah. dancing, or whatever else you have to put together. So right. I'm sure there's a lot of excitement that goes on behind the scenes. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> All right, so let's go to your next principle. Um, the next principle is final womanhood. So okay. So that's kind of like everybody's favorite principle, <laughs> I like to say sometimes. So what that means to me, because it means different things to different people, it's kind of being um, the better version of yourself, the better woman that you are meant to be. So we identify as final women. So that means the way that we, we carry ourselves, the way we hold ourselves, the way that we present ourselves to the community, uh, we do it in high regards. And okay. we definitely uh, take the principle to heart and we take that and we build on it and we try to uh, provide that to other young women and show them that, hey, this is how you should carry yourself and, okay. and definitely be somebody that other people can look up to. All right. I read a quote yesterday It says, Every time you are tempted to react in the same old way, ask if you want to be a prisoner of the past or a pioneer of the future. So what I'm hearing is you take a moment to say, okay, do, how do I want to react to this situation? Do I want to be, like you said, a better version, a more elevated, eloquent <laughs> version right. of myself? Right. Or do I want to go sideways with this? And again, like you're representing not just your local chapter, but Zeta Phi Beta all over the world. And so, you know, you don't want to paint an ugly picture. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. It's, it can be hard sometimes, but you definitely always have to take that high role. Yes, ma'am. Because you are wearing those letters. And even if you're not wearing them, you still represent yeah. and people know yes. who you are. So <laughs> you definitely always take the high road and, and be finer. <laughs> yes, ma'am. All right. <laughs> Just kind of flip your hair on. Say, okay, not today. Right, right. <laughs> well, for those of us with like fluffy fro. <laughs> 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 All 
<laughs> All right. So, and your last principle. Oh, that was yeah, it. Was okay, yeah, so it was four. Yeah, four. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. All right. So let's get into some of the service that you all provide. Well, I'm sorry. Let me back it up. I didn't ask you when um, the different chapter, the undergrad and the graduate chapter were found. So sorry. <laughs> okay. So uh, the graduate chapter, Sigma Gamma Zeta, was founded uh, in March of 2000 okay. and uh, by eight women who noticed the need of a graduate chapter within our community because we didn't have something within 30 miles of okay. um, where we were so we wanted they curated something and this is you know this is the results of it okay. is our chapter now so and I know quite a few um, ladies and like I said I met quite a few back in the, when they were undergrads in the 90s okay. um, and so we just remained friends over the years and I'm happy that I can I still have that network with them like we're now in different professional settings right. so I um, still have that connection with them so I'm very grateful for the friendships that I made back then. <laughs> right. All right. And so I owed a new. Okay. The I owed a new chapter was founded March 23rd, 1986 okay. on the campus of Arkansas State University. You said 1986? Yes, ma'am. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. So and, and those founder, are any of the founders of the undergrad still in Jonesboro? In Jonesboro? I'm not sure. Okay. But... Yeah, I've seen, well, I've seen one around um, at our regional conference. Okay. I'm not sure where she resides, though. Okay. Yeah, so, we're Jeanette Strong. Yeah. Uh, she's still here in town. So okay. Shout out to her. And she's I'm sure, listening. And I'm sure it's wonderful to still have access to some of the founders of, yeah. of the undergrad and the grad. Um just pull from their knowledge and experience and their wisdom mm-hmm. to help guide you along your path no matter where you try to go within a sorority or just in life in general right yeah all right so are any of the graduate um founders still in town still live here not that i'm aware of okay. it might be though so. okay I'm all, right. Sure. all right so let's move into your service activities um i have seen various flyers i'm since i'm not on campus when I, was, when I was a student last year, I, I wasn't on campus, so I tried to keep up as much as I could, but I still dropped the ball. But <laughs> I know that you all have several events that you do host on and off campus and you're involved in. So tell us about some of the service events. Okay. Well, for service, we do um, a lot of things for, for the school and for the community. Okay. And so um, to just to name a few, I know that um, this year we've done like Salvation. We're ringing the bell for the Salvation okay. Army. We've done the highway cleanup. Um, we'll donate and give back to our school. We'll, we have success that we've adopted. Okay. And so we'll give school supplies and we'll go and see everyone and our stores from that school as well. Shout out to Mr. Liz- Alicia. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. And we also donate to... Um, <laughs> I just staff. Hey, bossy. <laughs> She's listening. Yeah. <laughs> And we also um, go and donate to the animal shelters around oh. town and the women's shelters as well. Okay. Now, when you go to the animal sh- I love animals. It's a shooting too. That's Jada does. Do you all ever get to hold and play with the different animals? Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm not an animal person. <laughs> so do you skip that visit? Right. I, I did skip that visit. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> if it was up to me, I would own like a thousand acre range oh, and just wow. adopt all of them. I, I love it. Um, <laughs> that's great for you. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. So that's, that's, I donate financially to him, and if mm-hmm. they have a need, well, he talked food and stuff, I'll donate that. But I just, I fall in love with him. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think here in Johnsburg, they are in need of uh, dog food and things like that. So if y'all can always definitely give it back. Cells, mm-hmm. uh, cat litter. They're always needing something. Food, always needing something. Mm-hmm. Right. All right, so if you are an animal person or you're, maybe you're not an animal person, but you have some extra to give, uh, <laughs> consider giving to the local animal shelters. They need some love, you know. All right, and want to say good morning to Mrs. Emma Williams Agnew and Officer Victoria Evans. Hey, uh, hey, hey, Victoria. <laughs> <before you. laughs> All right, so, okay, so with the service you do, the animal shelters, and you do some things on campus and around the town. Um, and I have seen different members show up at, um, I know First Baptist did a fall festival. There were some members there. Mm-hmm. There was a back to school drive over the last summer. Yes. I saw different people, right. you know, popping in and out. And so what are some other things that you all like to get involved in? Um, 
Right now for the state, uh, we are, one of our initiatives is Z-Help, which is Zeta's helping other okay. people excel. So right now we are in the process of collecting just toiletry items for the, uh, the Doors House in Little Rock, which is a domestic a violence house for people okay. to go to so for those victims we are trying to collect up to a thousand items so if you can find your local zeta and get with them and okay. be sure to just donate any toiletry items that you have so we should be getting the information out to churches and different organizations definitely so. let us know here so we can post it on our social media site Absolutely. the website right. we want to definitely help you all reach your goal and hopefully go above and beyond right your goal. that's what we're pushing <laughs> for above and beyond because so. these those ladies and families they they have a need and sometimes they're just at their lowest moment and they just don't know where to turn who to go to and they some leave their situation i know someone personally who left the situation almost with whatever she can pack just anything yes right. and so it's uh, heartbreaking <laughs> yeah to see those women but they're so it, strong take years for them to recover from that which mm -hmm. is it's just laying the groundwork for when you <laughs> right. Yeah, that's a passion of mine. I'm sorry. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. All right. Right. We have a few shout outs. Uh, Miss LaDonna mm -hmm. Williams says, Hey, precious, can you try? Oh. What? She actually put some money. Night I'm oh not going to say it out loud. Are you serious? <laughs> she said, Can you drop $19.20? Okay, as long as you return the favor. Yes, ma'am, I will. <laughs> you can both donate. Okay, and then <laughs> officer, I would say Officer Coach Evans. Yes, uh, Officer says, Evans. Says, hey, precious, so proud of you. And LaDonna says, happy Founders Day, proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank y'all, thank y'all. Yeah. Oh, goodness. So I forgot to meet her a couple years ago. She's a, LaDonna. so much fun. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> yes, she is a character. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... Um, I know usually most sororities and fraternities try to do some events um, during their Founders Week leading up to their Founders Day. Unfortunately, school was out, and so mm -hmm. um, you all are just getting back on campus and getting back, you know, in the swing of things. So, yes. but what, do you have anything special planned for your Founders Day? Tonight at 6 o'clock, uh, we need all sororities and all frat brothers to uh, help us bring it on in at 6 p.m. at Papito's. That's okay. where we'll be at today. Yes. All righty. Now, what kind of place is that? It's a Mexican restaurant. Okay. So go out, get your tacos and nachos and right. have fun. Fellowship, <laughs> yep. It's going to be a bunch of blue and white everywhere. Yes, yes. we're trying to turn in blue and white. <laughs> it's a Mexican restaurant. All right. And so, um, and then what else do you have coming up? I know the year's kind of just getting started, but have you started working on activities, like your core activities for the year? Um, we definitely are going to participate in an MLK event oh, that's right. coming up. Coming so up Monday, everybody. Definitely something we're going to participate in. Uh, we have plenty of highway cleanup scheduled, and uh, the March of the March for Babies. We will be participating oh, wow. in the run. I think it's March the 30th at Craighead Ford, so okay. we'll be there. And I don't know if I'll be running, but I'll definitely <laughs> I, be. Uh, look, I'll be out there and hold a flag of it's, pom pom. <laughs> that might be me. That might be me. <laughs> but yeah, Supporting those are the some of the lines. right on the mm -hmm. sidelines. So that's kind of <laughs> what we have planned for the grad chapter and. Uh, they got some events for the undergrad, I'm sure. Okay. Yes. Uh, well, so for undergrad, um, in February, on February 13th, we actually have a um, a Valentine's social oh. coming up. And um, it's just a fun event for the students. Um, we're, we plan on having um, a handful of men from around campus. Okay. And then um, the event is going to be girls... Um, basically bidding on the okay. men and then they'll go on a date which is just uh, the next room over we'll just um, have like oh. a social meeting um but it is a two dollar entry fee or a toiletry item okay. um that we're going to donate to the women's shelter after That's the proceeds awesome. of the items okay so come have fun get a date <laughs> right my father you know love sounds, sounds like a kid. right right you know, never know Probably casual, casual. for the campus. It's yeah, mostly college students, so they're <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Do y'all have any formal events though coming up at all, or have you ever have you thought about any formal events? We have some things planned. I know for okay. grad chapter mm -hmm. that we want to do, and so no dates yet, okay. but we we definitely have some things planned, and we'll get with y'all whenever we get everything officially locked out. Okay. Well, as we get ready to you know kind of come to a close, today's an abbreviated show. Um, 
tell us about why you decided to join Zeta Phi Beta and since you've been a part of it, what have you, what's made the biggest impact on you, I guess? Okay, uh, well, my biggest reason for joining is um, wanting to be involved, wanted to be involved on campus, wanted to do more in my community. So, you know, just researching and doing, uh, looking at other sororities and things like that, I identify most with Zeta because it is mostly about the sisterhood. I noticed that it wasn't a particular way I had to dress, a particular way I had to be, you know, necessarily. I could be myself and still, you know, give as much as I can to my sorority. So it was so fitting for me. And the principle of finding womanhood just stood out to me. It was different than anything. And I knew that it would allow me to be the best version of myself. Okay. So uh, just looking around campus and seeing those girls uh, doing so many great things, I had to be a part of it. Okay, awesome, thank you. <laughs> and for me, um, of course, seeing my sister um, be a Zeta, I remember when she told me and my mom that she was having a probate, I had no idea <laughs> what was going, I had no idea what it was until I finally went and I saw that it was a completely different world and just had this like this vibe to it and it just drew you in I just felt like I had to be a part of it so I was still a junior in high school at the time so I still had a ways to go and I still had time to do my research but after doing my research and watching everyone and seeing like the finer womanhood principle within my sister and within the Zetas on campus I knew that I had to become one. That's awesome. It touched my heart. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. I'm, I'm the oldest of four as 31. Right. I mean, I it know was. how I'd be, but. Right. It was something that I kind of like envisioned, but I didn't know she wanted to do it. And so when she came up to me and just talking about it, I was like, yes. You know? <laughs> so I was so proud and so happy. And I got to uh, pull a mask off doing a probate and everything oh. like that. So it was a tear dropping moment for everybody. And it was. Love that. Oh my goodness. It's, it's an indescribable feeling. Oh my God. Well, I can't thank you, ladies, enough for being here and for joining us and sharing this information. And um, if anyone is interested, oh, do you have an interest in meeting coming up anytime oh, soon? Yes, we do have an interest okay. in coming up. I want to say it's January 24th Okay. at 6.20 p.m. Um, you can follow us um, on Instagram. Okay. It's iota underscore new underscore Zetas. On Instagram, we'll be posting the flyers and keeping everyone updated on okay. that. And so, to also check out Kaylee K's social media will definitely you know reshare everything we can right and for the grad chapter we are asking all in Akasaurus to please come out uh january 20th on sunday and we wanted those Sorors to reclaim and come back to zeta and definitely get involved in the local grad chapter so january 20th uh sunday at sweet 1909 on a state campus Come out and join us and get more information. We're trying to bring those sisters back home to us. So y'all come out to us and, and definitely. Let's try to get something great started. All right. Come there's, on a lot, home. there's a lot of work that needs to be done in the community, and we need as many able bodies as possible. Yes. All right. One more uh, shout out for Miss LaDonna. She says, hey, Shakira, can I? She's trying to get some money out of somebody. <laughs> Okay. Mr. Dunn, we're going to need you to buy lunch next time you get somebody. <laughs> right, right. All right. Well, thank you for coming out today. And um, we're going to look out for these ladies. They're going to be doing wonderful things within the community. Um, can't wait to see what y'all got planned for the year. Thank you. <laughs> and definitely keep us informed here because we want to be your connection to right. help get your message out to the rest of the community. Yes, ma'am. All right. And thank you, everyone out there, for listening and watching. Happy Founders Day to all the Zeta Fabetas around the world that are listening. And happy Founders Day to every single person in the D9. D9. Yeah, D9. <laughs> D9. Happy Founders okay. Day. All right. Everyone have a great and blessed day and stay warm. <laughs> Thank you for listening to Community Conversations on KLEK 102.5 FM, a program focusing on the people working to make the Jonesboro community a better place while offering viewpoints from all sides of the issues. The views expressed in this program are those of the participants and do not necessarily reflect